Hello all. Welcome to Mahajan Institute of Technology. Python Django event. So today we are going to see about like Python Django's workshop, how to create a photo gallery. Rahul, are you there? Yes, I am here. So Rahul, I have given you the access, so you can continue with this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So team, uh, uh, please attend the session, and Rahul, you please can drive the session. Uh, we will be sharing the feedback uh, link uh, by tomorrow. Okay. And you are having all the access, Rahul. We are having like uh, multiple session at the same time. Is it overlapping? Me or like Kala may not be available throughout the session. So if anything, you can call us. Yes. You are having the full access. Like you can allow anybody inside the call also if they are joining. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Rahul. Yeah. Thank you. And recording has been. Thank you so much. So, uh, good evening, students. I'm Jeevi Rahul. I'm a Python full stack web developer trainer of having four years of experience and have been associated with MJIT from the past two years. And I have trained many of the students in the Python web development. So, without wasting any time, I would like to ask a few questions and then we will start by presenting the website and then we'll move on to the workshop. So I think you have all installed the Python Django. Am I right? If I'm asking, <coughs> you can please unmute and you can answer. So that uh, you can uh, work in the workshop. Hello. If you have already installed, please let me know. Uh, yes, Rahul, we have installed the application. Can you please uh, uh, increase your uh, microphone voice? Actually, your voice is a bit low. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, speak something. Yeah. Actually speaking, so I okay, think we yeah, have installed the Python and Django. Yeah, yes, sir. We have installed already installed it. Yeah, okay, fine then. So anyone else in this group who are not installed the Python and Django, please tell me it will take one minute to install Python and Django, then we will move on. Or else we will continue with the this section. So, okay, I think, I hope you have all installed the Python and Django. So, okay, so today's section is all about creating the photo gallery. So that means displaying the photos in a website, like I have seen many of the online websites which provide photo gallery. So today's section will be creating the photo gallery. So first of all, I would, uh, I will share my screen so that you could see what I'm doing and then we'll go on to the workshop. So is my screen visible? I mean, uh, hello? No, sir. Hello? Sir, no, sir. Can you see my screen? No, sir. Yeah, we can see your screen, but it is totally blank. No, uh, I... black, I mean, black and the other one is there. Uh, we are not seeing any content in your screen. Okay, now yeah. we are able to see. So. Yeah, can you able to see the Google Chrome? Uh, yes, yes, we are able to see. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So first of all, I will exit the website and I will add a few photos into that. So you will have an idea how a photo gallery or a photo gallery website will work. So first of all, I will start my server. So please just look at the screen. If you have any doubt, you can raise your hand or else you can unmute and you can ask any queries.
so this is the way you need to start the server locally in the django so after getting this that means starting development server at http colon 127.0.0.1 so we need to just copy this so i have already added few photos now i will show how to add the photos internally and also from externally so what is internally i will explain and also i will explain what is externally so if i add image I need to choose the file. I will add multiple photos. See here, I have added three photos. See, this is the admin panel. I will explain later on. No, I have added three more photos, so it will look in this way. So I will add few more photos, look more beautiful. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. So, see here. Now, how I have added photos into my website called the gallery website. In this way, you can create a website. So this is the URL. And if I open this URL when it is installed in your systems also. It will open in the same way. You can add photos, you can delete the photos manually and implicitly. So I hope you are clear. If anyone has any doubts, you can please ask me. You can unmute and ask. Hello, yes, Rakshana, hello. Hello. Uh, yes, sir, you are audible. Actually, you have just uploaded the images there. So yes. are we creating only images or I mean website of only images or uh, any content like some nothing is text here. So what? Yes, we can uh, 
anything in that way also so okay. i will exhibit another website so that you will have an idea okay oh, okay sir so this is just a web server and in that we can uh, uh, add our content here anything like text image uh, yes. video anything here i think you have uh, you have seen lot of websites like your youtube now i have created a photo gallery with the same like the instagram okay sir yeah. so you have seen instagram right so yes, there will be a lots of photos so how the photos will be in this way itself if i uh, adjust the uh, height and width it will be smaller if i increase the height and width it will be large so for you to understand i made it large okay so if you want to create any own website for you or your family you can uh, do in this way okay i will execute another website uh yes See here. Hello, Rohit. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I can see this is a login page. Yeah, got this it. This is not the login page. This is the registration page. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Registration, right? See here. In the uh, the previous uh, app, it was a photo gallery. Here we are creating an app. the app yeah for the students so that they could register for any course like uh, there is a first name last name and their address then roll number and if they want to add any file or any uh, photo they can add ah uh, yes sir so i you can do anything and everything in the django there is no restriction that you can only make a small application you can make a large web app like your amazon also or even instagram or even your facebook or even your flipkart or even a shop like your uh, uh, grocery shop or your electronic shop like big c or any kind of website or else you can make your websites like redbus and also go ibo or else you can make a ticket booking app like your uh, book my show i hope you understand hello uh yes sir uh, totally understand yeah. so in this way we are going to we can create any kind of website so there is no restriction in the django so uh i will once again execute that uh, the gallery app and then we will see the code and then we will execute the code okay see here this is the website uh, created in front of us by adding the photos right so if anyone having any doubt please just ask me we will uh, move on 
for execution of the code. Any doubt? Hello? Yes, you can please unmute your mic and you can speak. If you have any doubt, what is website or uh, how to create it? Okay, if you have no doubt, then we'll move on to the coding part. So I hope you all have your Python and Django. Okay, so I have this code in the GitHub. You can download and you can execute so that you don't have to type each and every line. So it makes you easy to understand. So just all of you, just open this github.com. Sorry, yeah, github.com slash UCC Rahul UCC slash photo. So this is where you can find the code. So you just download the code in the zip format and open the code and execute the file. It will be in this way itself. So just open this github.com slash Rahul UCC slash So I will just uh, send in the chat. That's okay. Uh, just copy this thing. And I will explain how to download the code and execute in your system without typing uh, one single line. Just type github.com slash Rahul UCC slash that's it. So I hope we have all entered into the website. Um, just click on the code and just click download zip. Just click on the after opening the website, just click on the code and just click on the download zip. And after downloading, just extract the file. You just extract the file. So I will show the step to download. See here, it's on the left bottom. The file has been downloaded. See here, after downloading, you will find the file, the download section.
see here in the download section just double click and open just click on here and click on extract and select c4 c drive okay select the c drive and then click on extract because i have already the file so i will not do the same step if you have extracted the file just please tell me so that we will execute this file in your system yes now we can unmute and you can ask me Hello. Hello. Hello, Rohit. Ah, uh, yes, sir. We have downloaded that code and extracted the zip file, so we are able to see the code. Okay. So okay, I think you have downloaded the Python and also the Django, right? Uh, yes, sir. I have installed the Python also in in Linux system. Actually, I have installed. Okay, that's fine. So we will move on. So I will create the same replica of this file. So just watch how I'm coding. Just don't type. I will explain each and every line so that it would be very free for you to understand. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to first create an app so that we could code here. So for that, And this is the command to create the project Django Python admin start project. And my project name would be IMA. Click on enter. It will create a project for me. And then I need to move to that folder. Need to create the app. So this is the most important thing. Creating an app. that code so that you could can view each and every line what I'm typing this is the project name and this is the file app name. So just click on the settings. So it's already coded there. So just click on the settings so that you could understand what I'm typing. Hello? Any doubt? You see here these are the files by Django which are defaultly created. So first of all, we need to 
register our app here our app name is six okay to save so at the end you need to add the media file so that the django could recognize that this is the media file and it would accept the photos or the videos so just look at the screen and i will explain just open the settings.cofl it is already coded so you don't have to code every single line see here i'm creating a media file so what is a media file it will actually store your photos also your videos so for these two lines the django would accept at the top just type it in yes that's it so we have done with our settings file and then we'll move on create the next thing which would be our model file django is everything depends on the models views and templates so django's architecture is model view template so any website or any framework is being built on this basis itself so just open this models.py file so there is already a model which is created you can see here on your screen or else you can see here Hello. Any doubt? Just a second. Uh, 
I will stop the screen and I will share the screen once again. Sorry for the interruption. Just look at the screen. So now we have created our model and then next step is to register our model so that you could see the model which you have created in the admin panel. So what is the admin panel means? If you are a CEO of your company or anyone CEO holds the highest position. So that means they can do anything and everything and they should have the access of the poster so if you give the access to each and every user they will delete it or else they will manipulate they would change anything which is uh, i will explain how the admin panel will work Just open the admin.py file and then you can see what I'm coding. My model, which is that's it. Now I have registered my model and then I will create forms.py so that. Then we will move on to the views part. Okay. The model which I have created. And then we need to write a few lines. Just open the views.py file so that you could see what I am coding and I will explain what I have coded.
see here i have created a view so that is defined gallery and i'm requesting the method called get so that i could get every photo into my website and then how to get just using the Django in this method over a method objects dot all that's creating this is the template so don't confuse gallery dot html which is a template and the objects or the photos or the videos will be displaying by using this dictionary into this template so now we have created the view and now we will create the url just please open the url file See, I have inputted years and then I need to type two more lines so that the code the coding part will be completed. Just open that URL file so that you can view what I'm just typing. After typing, I will explain what I have typed. See here, just I'm telling this URL, URL platform, so that it can go to the settings file, which I have already typed here. You can see here, this is the URL pattern, right? URL file, so that it could go from the settings file to this URL file. That's it.
now we will go and create a simple template so that it will display whatever we are typing. What we have created the template name gallery.html. So the same file we need to create in the template. Size. HTML gallery.html only a few lines of code and then we will run the website how it looks like Just open the gallery file so that what you can see what I'm typing and I will explain later on. And here we have to call that is ING. I am calling it a model. So what the model will do means it will act as a bridge and it will put the data, text, messages, videos, or any files the Django is handled and it is maintained by the I'm giving the dimensions for the file. So how the photo should be. So I'm giving the width of size pixel. Three hundred pixel. So it should less. The margin should be size 10 pixel.
now that's it we have completed the coding part and we will see how we have created so first of all we need to just run the server python manic dot by check whether it's working fine or not so up to now if you have any doubt please just ask me any doubts so how the view was created or how the model was created so just only few lines of code right so see here it shows there is no errors just copy this url and just go on paste here i will uh, just paste here just a second So we will uh, move on to the admin panel add groups so for that admin panel we have to just type two commands python manage the e by make migrate so that we can migrate for model so my model was photo yeah see here created a model if you see this your model has been created and then just type if i migrate migrate so it will migrate the default settings given by the django see here yes we have created now just type by by using this command you can create the super users the super user will be used only by the higher officials like the ceo or the cmd here it will ask the few details okay i am giving the profile as a blank and then email would be i will give a uh, temporary email uh, gmail.com and then the password is 
Okay, the sub user has been created. So that you can enter into the admin panel. So now just type admin and then enter the details which now you have created. So that is password is two three. See here. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can just unmute and you can speak. Up till now, if you have any doubt. Hello, Rohit. Ah, uh, yes, sir. So, what is the use of this administrative panel uh, for Django? I mean, what we can do here? So, this administration panel would give the access to this whole uh, is it like the database it is like the database i mean wh whatever the data contents available in the website we can we can see in this uh, django administration is it what like that the, yeah what the admin means it will give you the access to hold everything see i will show the example one Okay. There are no photos, right? Yes. So, creating the replica of the previous file. Previous file was creating the photo gallery. So, in front of you, I have created the application. So, what should we do? You just type, choose the file, you should open a window. I will add the passport. And you click on save. See here. Now I have added the photo. Okay. If I give this admin panel, what you will do? If you want to check, you're an employee, not a CEO. Okay. Take example of you're an employee, not a CEO. What you'll do? You click here and it will show the image. Okay. In this way. Hello, Rohit. Uh, yes, sir. So it will show in this way. So, okay, that's fine. So, what you will do if you don't like this photo, okay, you can just click on delete without okay. going to the CEO. Right. Okay. And then what you will do, you will add another file. Like this uh, XR image. Click on save. If you do so, okay, the uh, CEO will be so angry because the access should be given only to the CEO or the higher officials. Not only adding editing, you can do many more things like click on the user. See here, Rahul, I am the user, I am the super user. So if you choose the green button, that means I have the whole access. I click on here. See here. I have the whole access. Like see? these are the permissions for the log entry. So that uh, you, if I want to create any group, yes, I can create any group. If I want to create, if I want to add any user i'm giving the permission so uh, take an example of a company like the facebook and the ceo is mark zuckerberg so there will be a programmer right a programmer or a developer in the company and he has to have some access so that he can view any errors or anything else in the uh, admin panel so what he will do he would give you some of the permissions from here you would give some of the permissions from here and it will also show what is the last login and when was the person joined in this website 
and here this is the model okay rohit uh okay sir so so whatever i have updated here like i have added the photos but uh, how we can do styling in our website so that that we have to do in dot html file right exactly I will okay okay file so that uh, so you have uploaded uh, like here the here one file you have uploaded one image so that will be automatically uh, updated in our code is it like that yes if we have added the file it will be automatically added into a database okay you will see see uh, in the local server local system also there should be a place so that the photos could share sorry Every time you want to start your application, you need to type Python manage the PY run server. It will run the server. Okay. okay. But it, it is not here right now. Sorry. Uh, but that image you uploaded, it is not here right now, no? in in the V in the VS code you are editing those html files sorry uh, i have opened uh, file. at the moment i will open and will show okay just uh, type This was the code, right? So, yes, sir. This was the code. The code. So, what, what I have done? I have done. Yes, right. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, if I add an image here, there should be a database to store, right? Yeah. So you will see how the database and where the data is being stored. So I will add another image so that it remains. Uh, Okay, just tell me, Rohit, uh, which of these pictures should I choose? Uh, the second last, you can choose anything you want. Third, third last stock photo. Uh, Spider Man? Yeah, you can choose anyone, sir. <laughs> no, I'm giving choice to you. Okay, that uh, the lion, uh, what is lion climbing to the tree? Third one, last okay. third. This one, yeah. Okay. okay good choice so just remember stock photo white tiger right okay sir yeah click on save so okay now we have added this is the file name okay and okay. we have to see file right so what we will do we'll just type Okay. In the end, that picture is okay. What I'm saying, this is okay. My concern is that if you are uploading these uh, images from from the uh, administrative tool, that uh, admin tool. Uh, so how how we can do the styling? If if we want this this picture to be center, how how we can do that? We can do in in HTML code only, right? Yes, HTML only. I will execute. 
so if we give the access to the user so what they will do they will manipulate so for the user so outside the company what we will do just we will click on so there is no styling so only an upload button so click on upload so this is for the user so this can be used for the by the user and also this can be used by the ceo so most probably the ceo won't use this file so okay uh, i will choose this macbook air image macbook air image upload okay the, let's see the file has uploaded or not see here is the file added hello uh yes sir right so in this way we have to create a template so that the user don't have the access so where is the template here that was upload right okay so see how short the code is there is minimal of four lines and also in the views part to this is the upload code and this is the view code and yes. here this is the model okay and you don't have to type everything because this are uh, being given by the django and in the url.py there is only four lines of code these are the two lines and the other thing and from the line 28 and 29 see how short the code is and see the, how beautiful the website is uh, i will add another photo to fill the gap see there is last image right so i will fill that and i will show you how to dimensions and all that from the html page just click on another uh, choose file so i will choose file sorry uh, photo my choice would be this upload that's it the photo has been uploaded successfully if i just click on refresh you can see at the bottom can you see rohit i think all you can see here so now uh, how to do the styling? yeah so your doubt was how to do the styling so i will change few of the things because if i go on uh, creating large things you won't understand so what i will do see can you see can you please open the gallery.html so all of you just open the gallery.html so if i change the width of the photo uh, the height would be So we have changed sorry pending state so now if i click on refresh see here what happened the dimensions of each and every image has been changed so we don't have to change the dimensions of each and every image okay hello rohit uh yes sir i got got it so if you have any doubt in the html so just ask me like uh, you have asked uh, i don't remember like creating a name right yeah yeah yes sir so yeah, i will just type photo gallery okay 
will open here and we will see it will be in top i guess yeah uh, okay. this photo gallery yes sir. Right. so now what should i do uh, uh, sorry uh, what what was your doubt just tell me um my doubt is that uh, in the website I, I can see there are more than 12 10 20 images but here uh, what i can see here is the only one image url one image uh, it is like in you have insert only one image here so how how it is like that I mean. so what i'm doing is here i have created a model so this is okay okay and i have already said the database so we can see here db dot sqlite so this is the database okay. Okay. and where are the photos which i have saved see here are the photos okay yeah those photos so there should be a place for that that the photos should be saved okay yeah. from yeah. from this all, all these dot py files uh which one is the main file like in javascript we have a, a app.js the main file and we are importing some other file that is okay but he, here which one is the main file url urls.py is it that main file or no. we can say see what index file model, it will act as a bridge between you sorry uh, uh the server and the file okay uh okay so so you have seen the facebook.com amazon.com so what are those those are the urls okay. yeah these are the URLs. so if i uh say amazon i rip uh, i uh, just remove a m a z o n amazon okay so he, here he, you are importing uh, here the import gallery upload import admin import path import setting import static okay In these what? must things you have imported no i have not imported all the things the django by default imported here in the django we don't have to do everything by our own it gives us the flexibility right it okay. gives us the flexibility to do whatever you want to do you want to create template okay create a template so what it will do by default it will create it will give the access to that if you want to create a url see here i have it uh, amazon so what uh, I, do, I will go to here and i will see the url so you are after, uh, becoming the developer see here what is the url name is amazon right yes slash amazon i can do and it will uh, redirect to the new page okay previously it was upload right and now i have changed it to amazon so what it do it will do the same thing the url part is not important the most important part are okay so see take example of a school management system so what the school management system contains students so we have to create the fields right here i have given field names his parents name and parents mobile number and his parent details okay and so there, there will be the teachers right so what we have to do we have to create a class teacher and then we have to create the fields like teacher name models dot text field and also teachers profession so sorry a uh, teacher subject what the subject the teacher is going to teach in every class and also the classes so that means where the teacher is going to take the first class or second class or tenth class here everything is i mean uh, we have to code ev the model and it is a building block of every framework we have seen like mvc and mvt so there is no difference between mvc and mvt so it stands for model view template and also model view controller here the important file is models views here views and templates okay 
हेलो रोहित हेलो हां यस सर आई एम गेटिंग जान को इन एवरी क्वेरी देयर विल बी कॉल्ड एमवीटी आर्किटेक्चर मॉडल्स व्यूज एंड टेम्पलेट्स दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इफ यू नो दिस थ्री थिंग्स यू कैन डेवलप a small website from six pages to a large website like 100 pages uh, like your amazon flipkart the amazon flipkart consists of home page click on electronics it will open the electronics page like it will show laptop mobile phone electronic accessories click on the mobile page mobile page you can see another page like nokia phone samsung phone apple phone again if you click on the apple phones it will display apple 10 or apple 11 or apple 11 apple 12 see example how you are going to create and have the flexibility and you can also scale your website from 10 users to 10000 also you can build a website from a small six page website like your hero honda showroom it shows only the bike see a large extent of file like your amazon or flipkart so till now any doubt you can ask me uh no no sir understand this much so see here i have created the file in front of you and it took me uh, uh i think it took me uh, of 20 or uh, 22 minutes hardly because uh, if i do this file on my own i would create in a 5 minutes because all the files are pre created by the okay. so this is the city of jang i think uh, so i have to explain what are the main websites which are currently built by the jango i hope you know about the youtube Hello. yes sir and the instagram so uh yes sir we we do just look at the screen you will see what are the top applications sorry uh, i think so see here uh, i think you already know these are the most popular websites which are built by using the django uh, just a moment it's opening you see this i think you already know what is youtube right hello hello uh, yes sir and yeah, also yes, the sir. instagram yeah instagram and also uh spotify the music app music streaming mm. and also yes, yes, the dropbox and also the mozilla firefox yes okay mozilla firefox and also the pinterest see most of the companies out of the world are using django till date there are 77278 websites are being built by the django itself and more than 2000 companies i think are using the django the google the amazon uh, the facebook uh, the dropbox and each and every company is using the django because it provides simple code you don't have to code very big i mean each and everything you don't have to code by you because the django provides you by the default so which makes the developer code fast so now i have created a photo gallery in front of you and it took me only 22 minutes i think yes yes or no hello hello uh, yes sir so i yeah so if you have any doubts in this section uh, just ask me i will clear i'm hearing only sound when uh, he is speaking uh, arjun on others you can ask me hello 
you have any doubt about this section or the the uh, classes of the Django, you can ask me. So I hope uh, there are no doubts. So okay, fine then. Uh, I think uh, the hidden already said that you will be receiving the link uh, to your mail tomorrow. The feedback link. So if you have any doubts till now, you can ask. Or else. Uh, you can leave and uh, fill the form. Uh, no doubt, sir. Uh, thank you so much for explaining this Django framework. Yeah, thank, thank you, Amit, and uh, thank you all for visiting our uh, sorry uh, for attending the class and making this evening more beautiful, like the gallery app. And I hope uh, you have no doubts uh, now. Uh, so, sir, any documentation can we follow to learn more about this Django framework? Can can you please forward in, in mail to all of us? So I don't understand. You are saying what kind of uh, documentation? Documentation in the Django framework documentation. How uh, formatting? Uh, how we are coding the, these things? See here. This is the basic thing. It's like tutorial what I'm saying. Hello? Hello? Hello, Rohit. Hello, Rohit. Am I audible? Hello. Yeah, if you have uh, no doubt, and if you are clear how to create a photo gallery website. And if you're interested, you can uh, please fill the form and you can uh, join the classes. And now we can uh, leave. And thank you all. Thank you for joining the class and making this workshop successful. Yeah, Rohit, any doubt? Uh, no, sir. Actually, there was a network glitch, so that's why I got disconnected. Yeah, and now I'm. Uh, nothing, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. No, you were saying some documentation. Yeah, what I'm saying, it's like it's kind of uh, uh, tutorial or documentation. What I'm talking about, so so we can follow to learn this uh, more Django framework. Anything? So see, this is the minimal. You're having a decision page, your home page, your sign up page, and all that. It uh, it takes more time to understand. Okay. Okay. This is the workshop to show how a website is being created in the Django and what are the files in the Django. Okay. Okay. So there are a lot more things. So I have used only image fields. There are more fields like text field, character field, integer field, and auto field. And also there are many files to import and what are the files you need to learn. So these things won't give you much idea. Yeah, that that's why I'm talking about. Is there any documentation? Is there any tutorial link you have so so you can forward us so we will get through it and we'll learn this. Okay. Uh, uh, I will suggest my uh, team member so that uh, she or he could contact. Okay, Arun. Oh, sorry. Okay, Rohit. Okay. Yeah. Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you, Rohit. Thank you, sir.
uh, if no uh, questions or no doubts we can just leave okay yeah thank you sir thank you sir. thank you sir Hello. Hello. I, uh, yes, Hello. Yes, Basim. Yes, Basim. the phone, sir. Chat box is invisible in my mobile. Okay, fine then. So, if you have any doubt, you can ask. There is no chat box. That's okay. That's totally fine. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Any doubt? Or any... no, no, sir. No, no. Okay, fine. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Basim. Thank you for attending the class. Hello. Hello, Triveni. Hello, Triveni. Hello. Any doubt? Hello, Triveni. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Hello? Hello? Okay, then uh, all of the members, thank you uh, for attending this uh, free workshop on how to create a photo gallery app. And thank you all. And have a nice day. If you have any queries, you can uh, uh, go to our website or you can contact our uh, team members. Thank you. Thank you all.